The Indian River Lagoon has been through a lot over the past few years. Back in 2016, we told you when dark muck plagued the water and algae blooms triggered fish kills. Since then, tens of millions of taxpayer dollars have been collected to clean up the dirty water. So how are things going now? A new report is just weeks away from being released. And as News 6's James Barbero reports, a lot of work still needs to be done. Unfortunately, we're still seeing algae blooms in the Indian River Lagoon, I think even today. Even four years into Brevard County's 10-year, $400 million restoration plan with hundreds of cleanup projects. Pictures this month in Merritt Island show green water in a Sykes Creek Canal. We had a huge green algae bloom. It was just stunning, like pea soup. And it makes Dr. Lisa Soto conclude that despite progress in certain areas, the overall health of the lagoon is still not where it needs to be. Since 2018, the Marine Resources Council has presented an annual lagoon report card. The first one was in the aftermath of the 2016 fish kills and Brevard County voters approving the tax plan. The lagoon's health is... This year, the new report card is again expected to illustrate challenges. We can't continue to grow the way we have in the past and expect a different result. We do need to start planning our growth better. The report card scores each region of the lagoon on algae, seagrass, phosphorus, nitrogen, and turbidity. Dr. Soto says the lagoon is resilient and it can still recover from decades of pollution. Dr. Soto will present the third annual report card on Tuesday, December 8th. If you'd like to join the event or donate to the research, find out how on clickorlando.com. On the Indian River Lagoon, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.